So this is an ancient myth, and it tells of the god of the underworld, the god of death, Pluto, who is taking Persephone into the underworld to be his wife uh, against her will, uh, sometimes referred to as the rape of Persephone. The thing that gets me more than anything is the look on her face. The kind of crazed terror. You can just feel it. Her mm. mouth, her eyes, her brows pushing together, how hard she's pushing away, how desperate she feels yeah. to get away. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a horrible moment. It is. Well, so the look on his face, I'm reading as, of course, responding directly physically to the pressure of her hand but also with a kind of power and bemusement. I see glee, yeah, almost, yeah, yeah. in a terrible way, terrible way that makes it so much more terrible. No, it's true. What she's going through, the, because, like this, ha ha, look at my trophy, yeah, look what I got. Yeah, absolutely. And she's also quite powerful and beautiful. Look at the but way. She has no chance. Look at the way that his hands press into her thigh. You, you feel his at, force. Well, and you see the elasticity of her flesh, and you forget this is stone. You feel him striding forward, you feel him pulling her towards him. And then, if you can see under her feet, you have the three-headed dog of hell. You it really... is an image of terror and um, powerlessness and brutishness. The other thing that I'm really struck by is the drill holes yeah. and how animated his beard is. The depth of the carving. It's yeah. Bernini at his best. I mean, yeah. clearly learning the lessons of Michelangelo. I'm really taken also with her hair. Yeah. You know, it's alive. It, it, well, and it's, it's in midair. How long would it have been? Been up in the yeah. air like that, yeah. like a, a split second yeah. that he's captured. Really, the moment you're, you know, we talk about contrapposto coming out of the classical tradition. This is a contrapposto that has been multiplied several times because you've got his striding body, his hip pushing forward, her hip against his chest, pressing in, he's pressing out, countering her weight, um, and she's countering his. It is this entangled contrapposto creating a unity and a, a kind of balance even in the struggle of the two. And you can almost see that if you look at it as it's a composition that's almost in the shape of an X. Absolutely. Of those balancing forces and counter forces. It's hard not to be, just be amazed by the virtuosity of his, his sculpting. It's a virtuosity that counters strength and power and force against exquisite delicacy. And sensitivity to human emotion. 